I've received this little thing today and I want to unbox it for you because this is brand new. For me it is and maybe for you too. So let me see what do we have here. Well, 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 well. Can you see what this is? Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe you already figured it. It is something new from Speedy Bee. And I was gifted uh, to make a review on this. Oh, to check this out for you. Comes some um, with uh, nice stuff here, like uh, this. And uh, well, that's the inside. Shall we take a closer look? Shall we? Shall we? Just FPV. Besides having uh, this uh, nice leaflet as we get in paper form, which you certainly will find on the website as well when it is released, because it ain't at this moment, you can see what this is. It's a Speedy B F45 Wing Mini. Yeah, finally something new, which isn't new at all, but it's tiny as it's size is awesome. You remember this? We have something in common with uh, the guys from Matic. And have a look here. I've just taken one for reference. It's a Matic F405 WNM. Uh, MN. One of my favorites, by the way. So we will have a close look at both side by side later. Um, this little thing here comes very detailed and it's, uh, well, looks good. And it comes in Chinese, in case you wonder. But uh, yeah, I will read that too, yeah. But this is the page I will concentrate on. And yeah, it tells everything you need to know about this little thing. But I'm not good at reading, so ah, let's get this thing out of the box, shall we? Away! So, this... Uh, let me see if I can get it here. Yeah, here. If we look at this, then it's uh, pretty nice. Must be the bottom side, I guess. You can see there's uh, some room for um, SD card here and uh, a pin connector, massively load of solder places. And if we turn it around like this, this must be up. And you can see the pin headers here. It's nice. And the usual pluggable connections here. That's maybe the main board. You got the F. Uh, the, um, the CPU here, well, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if it's readable, I can see it, and I can't see it from this angle, but yeah, say something about F405, the usual stuff, I guess, yeah. And then we have a comp um, company board here, that's the PDB, power distribution board, and this little thing is uh, pretty nice as well, build quality very cool as usual and even something mostly most people don't recognize but you can see these edges they are smooth in my version they are smooth and i hope this is a production version it's like it's sanded i really like that usually i do it myself but uh, you can see this has been done here pretty nicely so well usual stuff on it i'm not the expert on components but uh, well looks good I will trust this, and uh, I think we should stuff it together to something we can solder, shouldn't we? Like putting pins here and there and headers and whatever is in there. We'll see, we'll see. Um, let's place it here. Then we have a third little component here. Must be the breakout board, which is there. Yeah, I guess it's the usual one, right? No, it's the mini. We can compare this to, say, I've got the regular SPDB here. And, uh, well, I don't know, I'm not an expert, but yeah, I think they could be pretty equal, some sorts. But we have some switches here, they are different here. Well, who, know, who am I to judge this? Okay, so this is this, and then we can take a look at the insides here. There's a quick check, has been, oh, accidentally glued on a bit, doesn't matter. That's okay. Then we got a whole lot of stuff here. Here's another plate, a top plate and the bottom plate. That's cool. Uh, ah, look at this. Ah, nicey nice. And these are the things I was been, have been waiting for. Because these are the things we'll have to fiddle together here. 
Okay, pin headers of uh, your kind, the usual three colors or the bend one, 90 degrees bend ones, and the one for the flight computers, uh, for the receivers, sorry, receivers. I'm not good at this, I'm out of, yeah, I'm not being reviewing for a long time, I guess. Well, well, <laughs> eventually we'll get there. So this is for your uh, uh, Crossfire or Express OS connector. Uh, for me, this will be the connector or just uh, for my Express LOS receiver, nice, and several wires in flavors and stuff for GPS or VTX or whatever you have. Depends on your setup. Well, um, yeah, I can't hardly, I can hardly wait to get this together. Well, I, I'm just afraid I have to look in the manual. That's a personal. Well, personal best, if I have to look in the, in, the, <laughs> in the manual, which I usually don't do because I know where stuff ha uh, is headed. But we'll see. You see here, we got this uh, assembly instruction that helps me out. Um, I will not uh, bother you with all this. You can do it yourself. You will have the fun that I have behind the camera. Give me a second. Yeah, after I've been reading the manual, and, uh, well, not read it. I went for this part, don't do this, you want this. And this is the usual setup where you just half the flight computer uh, sticking to something in the bottom. Uh, well, not inverted like this build offers you. So, no worries, um, <laughs> I'm an old man and uh, you can see if I read manuals, I can even do things with it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I've assembled this uh, accordingly and this is how it looks uh, well what can i say um pretty narrow here but pretty pretty fine again i had some 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 problems getting the small screws to fit with this because these are so small you don't get any grip so i took my little thing here and gave it a little love so i could screw on and uh, well what can I say? It worked out for me. No worries when you just uh, find these are uh, hanging loose. Just give them a little squeeze. Everything's good. Um, this one is like that, and I want to compare it to the Matag one. And you can see that is a, still the uh, minimalistic little solution, which works pretty fine. And uh, well, has what you usually will need. But um, the Speedy B isn't far behind. I think it's. You say it's a bit larger a bit higher but um have a look in this fuselage here of this grom well there's enough space for everything so size maybe not an issue here maybe in your build if you have a narrow space in your flight com uh, flight stack or in your fuselage but i haven't uh not even for the new build so yeah this is plenty of space and this is small and i think very sufficient for what the main pilot may need. So, um, usual stuff, nothing fancy here. Build quality as mentioned, good. I like it. I will solder it up. And then we'll take a look at what it says. I don't uh, have any doubt this will work out great because um, this works usually from SpeedyB. And thanks to SpeedyB for sending this to me. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks for the thing and uh i have more i'll test with you these meteors haha -ha. okay enough of the rumbling here we go let's shut it down oh one comparison just away with it so i can see it here you can see this is a usual speedy b f4 5 wing we have and this difference is the mini size may matter to some of you and uh, for me i must say the smaller the better, because, uh, well, how can I say? This will do the same as this, almost. Almost, in most cases. And yeah, let's see. I guess it will do, right? Right. So, I will solder that and get back to you. So, we have soldered things up, as you can see here. Mm kept it minimalistic as indeed and I've been a bit too angry with my um, heat gun <coughs> apparently 
But well, it works, it works. Nothing st uh, different, just but uh, solder the pins on and get this together. And now we're going to flash this to the latest and greatest INF and uh, see what how it turns out. <coughs> what we're going to do here is uh, simply to connect the Speedy BF405 Wing Mini to INF7, which I have here, 701 configurator. And this is about now, and we'll see what happens. Kai boots up regularly. Let's see what happens up here. Not so much. Well, doesn't matter. Um, we need to connect. It says it's okay. Found a USB device, so we connect. And we see here, okay, <coughs> what do we have? We have opened up the device, which is apparently flashed with iPhone iNav 6.1. iNav 6.1. Okay, so we will flash this to 7. How about that? Okay, let's go over and disconnect. And hit firmware flasher. And wait for it to boot up. Okay, it's immediately detected at what it is, because it has the same target as the 504 wing app and there you go so there's nothing to consider just take this full chip array the usual stuff and we load it and we'll flash it let's see what happens uh, it works like a charm i didn't even have to uh, run into dfu mode as you can see it just works that's good that's how it's supposed to be i like that um I've been having some issues with Matic lately that it uh, sometimes just didn't want to let itself flash because it didn't recognize it had to go to DFU mode. But um, that might be me and some of my setups. So it's flashing along and uh, that's looking good. I don't see any issues here. So um, we will put this into my uh, experimental plane. And uh, so I have to. Uh, calibrate the sensors in a second so we'll do this together so that it is done and uh, it's always too best to calibrate that thing if it is not uh, while it is not built in into the model right here we go finished so okay it should boot in a second here we go yeah let's shut it down shall we I just hit that switch on the ah Come on now. Yeah, the off switch on the on the buzzer, and we connect. And it says, hey, I'm new and new. I say, yeah, let's take a plane then. Well, first things first, it's RAMs in the defaults. That's nice. As you can see, um, it takes some seconds. It's not a biggie. It's just the time for another coffee, I guess. <laughs> but here we go. It's rebooting. And it won't buzz this time because, as I mentioned, I shut it down. So yeah, we're here. It works, works, works. Okay, now if you've seen it and uh, seen what I've done with it, not much to be honest, but uh, to flash it. And uh, now it's up to you. Hmm. Will you go for this? This is something that comes in handy. Or is it more like, yeah, nah, nah, yeah. got my other ones, work is fine for me. Yeah, <laughs> totally fine. I'm not here to convince you, I'm here to inform you. And um, that puts me to the point where, gets me, that gets me to the point where I have to put my personal uh, thoughts on it. And um, let me start with, uh, I like the form factor. It's small, it's nice, it's convenient. You got the things you need. Um, not much to hope for there. Uh, Fine, we'll use this, of course. Um, still missing a back for the 12 volts, for example, cope lights or something like that, or even a separated back for the VTX. Yet again, who offers this? So, leaving one <coughs> back behind and have a small form factor, or take the regular SPDB like this and have the back you need and a bit more around around the features here um, it's up to you I will see how this turns out for me because I've been building this into my 
new little <coughs> vessel here um yeah and we'll see how this turns out i hope for i know 7.12 come out soon so we can uh, finalize the build and the software on it to configure it um, uh, accordingly and well that's it for now hope you liked it let me put this back to uh, like so <sighs> hope you liked it and uh would like to uh See you again next time when I get something and uh, yeah, <laughs> I will have to increase my releases a bit because there's so much more to come, but weather keeps me grounded and uh, that's a horrible time for me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Be seeing ya. Bye bye.